A lot is different for kids returning to school this year, but for students in the Winnipeg School Division, another hurdle. Another thing missing from this back to school scene, school buses. How are you today? Good. Instead of welcoming kids on a long awaited day back to school, bus drivers walk the grounds in front of their depot on the picket line. The official strike starts Wednesday. That means these bus zones empty and about 2,300 students in the province's largest division forced to find other ways to get to school. We had to plan for a taxi, but uh, one or two days is fine, but uh, how long it is going to continue, that will be uh, challenging for us. Moshenki Ramasamy has two kids who start school at different times. It will be tough for us to bring them one by one. Yeah, so this will definitely affect because we cannot afford a taxi for a daily routine. Other parents walking their kids to school say the strike left them with few or no options. It's very hard. It's very hard. Even we have to go to work as well. So altogether it's affecting us. The Winnipeg School Division says starting next week, parents will have more flexibility. If they need to bring the child in early, as early as 7 o'clock in the morning, we will have before school and then we will also have after school programs that we are going to put into place for those students. And that will be in effect starting next Monday. Kids who usually ride the bus will also get the option of learning virtually from home. Students in language programs also have the choice to transfer to non-language programs closer to home for the duration of the strike. But parents looking for a long-term solution, something the union says may not happen soon. It's been months since we've seen a new offer from this employer, so we haven't received any kind of indication that they're prepared to move at all. The sticking point? wages. We believe these workers deserve a wage increase, COVID or no COVID, but at a time when you're now asking them to take on additional duties with regards to COVID, making sure kids are wearing their masks, that everybody's following all of the um, public health policies, that there's distancing happening. Um, school bus drivers have a very challenging job at the best of times, managing a bus full of kids in traffic with all kinds of weather conditions. The union won't say how much they're asking for only to say the school division is pushing the province's wage freeze legislation, which was struck down in court last year. You know, all of our salaries are paid either through the provincial grants that the school division receives or through um, property taxes that come through our, our ratepayers. So those decisions had to be made well in advance. And what the school division can afford was, is, is not very much right now. And so that's that's where we're at. As for the students wrapping their heads around all the changes this year is bringing. I'd like to see the bus back and COVID gone. In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.